Good morning, guys. It's been a minute of not filming. I had just gotten home from Tampa, so I'm gonna like show you guys some of the Tampa footage in a second of all the things we did. And then I can tell you some of the places. What I plan to do is actually to um, make some like Instagram highlights called Tampa and it can be like a little like guide of places and things that's not just perfect for kids but also perfect for like date nights or any age just things to see things to do and um yeah it was really fun so we just kind of spent like a long weekend for the holiday out there and done a few things uh very safely because Holly hadn't really been out much because of the pandemic and we didn't know how things were in that area, like case number wise and everything. But uh. Alrighty, <laughs> just knocked out a Peloton ride this morning. So I'm going to change out of this little workout set. It's a bit, just a bit sweaty. I don't know if I want to wear it all day today. When I currently feel like, um, like my whole backside feels wet. So I'm going to change out of this. And then I will show you guys kind of like what's going on with... All the packages that I had um, mailed out while I was away. So all the packages that arrived while I was on vacation. Now pretty much all of these I ordered. There's nothing like this was sent to me but um, like I said it's a little box of freebies from Bloomingdale's so this was sent to me and then I'm not sure did I show you guys the 7-Up box? So these two were sent but other than that, all of these I purchased. One of these Abercrombies is actually an exchange from a previous order that I haven't even shown you guys yet. Um, I just wanted to get the sizing and colors correct. They sent me the wrong items. Again, I feel like this is like every single order now. I get something sent that's incorrect. But one of these is that. The other ones is just from the past week or so. I wanted to order some new stuff. Then we have a American Eagle order, which I can open like right now. And then the H&M one, I wanted to do an H&M order for my YouTube channel to show like some new spring summer styles other than Abercrombie because we need to branch out and find some better brands. Um, these are all like the sustainable collection through H&M too. So I'm really excited to show this over on YouTube. Okay, so like I said, these I need to do for a video, but <clears throat> I can show you this one. I, um made a video over on my Instagram during the like to know it spring sale. And I spoke about how pretty much all of my like swimwear and undergarments are airy. Now, 10,000% true on that. The thing is all of my undergarments are like those lightweight push-up bras. And as much as I love wearing, as much as I love wearing push-up bras, <laughs> Uh, I started, I don't know, maybe it's because I turned 31. Maybe it's because living here in Florida, it's so hot and you're always sweating and you don't really want that like extra padding that's just like, you know, sitting there in sweat whenever you're running around doing yard work and stuff. Um, I probably should have said TMI in the video, like in the beginning of all this conversation. But uh, anyways, I wanted to get like a non push up bra. So that's what this is. Here is what it looks like. Now, I can't wait to try it on. It definitely looks just like the one I'm wearing right now. This one just has more lift to it. This one I can feel. It's lined, um, it has an underwire, but it doesn't have that extra like bulky padding um, at the bottom of it. So excited for that. This little box of freebies. Not really sure what this is. I think it's just like a bunch of like beauty samples from Bloomingdale's. So that is pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and open it and see. We don't have a Bloomingdale's anywhere near us, but yes. So here's what it looks like on the inside. Like I said, I didn't order, like I didn't buy this or anything. It was just sent. Spring Beauty Box, sampling treats of the feel good season. And on the back, it has all of the names of the items. Looks like a lot of fragrances. You got a Carolina Herrera, a Gucci, um, I don't even know what this name brand is. Some like guy on a horse. It kind of looks like Ralph Lauren, but it's not. Uh, Dolce & Gabbana. And um, Rodriguez. Rodriguez? 
for her. I don't know what that is. And then we have a Valentino lipstick and um, a Jitsing uh, little lotion. So in the back one, the 7-Up is actually in the fridge. Uh, Influencer is an app that I use where I could test out products. I also make content on my Instagram and stuff with the app. Now, they sent me a simple 7-Up drink to try out. It's brand new and it's in the fridge getting cool because I need to make like a video, little posts and stuff like that for it. So, alrighty. So, now that I have pretty much everything unpacked over there, what I'm going to do is steam everything so I could record the videos that I need to do for YouTube and then, um, oh, hey, oh man, you guys didn't even see that. I had these turned the wrong way. We just wanted to roll off the uh, washing machine, but I'm going to steam everything and then we are going to record the videos for YouTube today of H&M. I probably did like an H&M part one because I need to exchange something and then there was like some new arrivals that happened over the weekend that are really really good and I thought I ordered a swimsuit but apparently I didn't so I was gonna do that too. So I'm going to um, do like an H&M part one and whenever I get the rest of the items I can finish filming that video and do like a part two hook to it and then the Abercrombie stuff I could film today and go ahead and get that video edited. Um, but yeah, so I need to just go ahead and steam everything. Now, I will say I put on the new Airy bra. It feels so good. It's very lightweight. And I'm just happy about how it's, how my chest feels. So, um, definitely planning to order some more of those. I need to watch and see when they're doing like 50% off sale because that would totally be worth it. I also still need to try on all of these bottoms. Just trying to go through and, you know let go of the things I don't need anymore. So let's go ahead and start steaming. There's um, one, two, three, four items that are black, which, um, yeah, <laughs> I guess no complaints there. I'm just surprised that I went with so many black pieces this go round. So this is a set, this is a pair of pants, dress, and then there's these two tops from Abercrombie, which I might pair with a try on for this because it does need a top to go with it since it's bottoms. But yeah, so that's, um, I think this is going to be what I'm going to be trying on today. In a little bit, I'm going to film a H&M little try on. I probably won't do too much vlogging about it, but let me angle you guys a little bit better. There we go. Okay. So I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about our trip to Tampa. It was only a few days. Um, just because we didn't really know how long we were staying there. We hadn't really planned out an exact departure date when we got there it was in the afternoon so we went up to have dinner and what i'm gonna do is over on my instagram i'll have like a highlight called tampa and i'll collect a bunch of like little video clips and images and stuff from the trip and have everything there and i'll list out like all the restaurants we went to what i recommend there if they were worth going kind of like price points and things because we went everywhere so but we had a lot of fun so like i said i'm planning to show all of the details of all the places we dined at, price points, um, any images that I have of some of the activities and excursions we went to, that will all be over on my Instagram. I'll have it, of course, linked below. Um, go check it out. But I will show you guys right now a few clips because I did film a few things. I think I filmed um, a little bit of the zoo, 
a little bit at the pier and a little bit at the Buck Tower Gardens. So beautiful. So let me just go ahead and show you guys all of those. So she is being very wild. I'm trying to figure out who is making the other one act up. Is it you, Lulu? Were you chasing Momo or was Momo chasing Lulu? Alrighty, so I'm gonna step outside, do a little bit of yard work. Now it's actually kind of chilly out here, which is crazy because um, in Tampa, you know, it was like in the upper 80s at some point. And now I'm out here and I could honestly wear a jacket at this very moment. Um, but there's a few things I need to do out here on the patio. I have my little container right here of my mixture of neem oil. So I'm going to neem oil all the plants. But I cleaned out this bed and I moved some of the strawberries down here that I'm trying to save. Something happened to all my strawberries. They all got really, really sick. So I weeded this one out, you know, knocked it down took out a lot of the bushes that was not doing good so i'm gonna see if i could get these to heal up if i can't i might just chuck them all and start fresh but that bed is completely cleaned out i um needed to spray out so this weekend we could get some fresh dirt in it and i'm thinking of planting uh some veggies but just started making some rosemary water. I read that it's really, really good for if you're trying to get your hair stronger and healthier. I have these little bottles right here. So I'm gonna put some of the rosemary water in this and then I can spray it where I need it in my hair and use it like a conditioner. I also have a few extra sprays right here. So I might go pick some more and start another batch to dry out. And then what I am doing with the dried rosemary is jarring it it's really good to add in cooking um i want to get something to kind of like grind it up and make it more into like a powder form so i could have like a little jar of spice like that but these are just the dried sprigs so then very very busy the rosemary water though it smells so so good let me show you guys what it looks like just look at that oh it is so lovely it smells so good so what i did is i put about yay high of water in there and a few sprigs of rosemary let it get to a boil now i'm letting it simmer for a few minutes and i'm gonna put it in the little bottle once it cools off so very very nice very good easy affordable and then of course i have so much rosemary over here at my little rosemary plant out there on the patio there it is right there 
So that's where I've been getting my sprigs from for drying rosemary for cooking, as well as um, now rosemary water. Uh